a nonprofit is a corporation, right? It's still a business. Yeah. Um, it's just the difference of what we do with the profit. So um, most people, when they think about starting a nonprofit, because it's typically a issue-based thing that they want to do, they go to charities first. So they think someone has got to give me money to do this, right? And just like the entrepreneur who turns to bootstrapping, like, oh, my God, i got to find some friends and somebody give me some money, the nonprofit founder says, how do I get a crowd of people to believe in what I'm doing? And oftentimes they do, because if it's a big enough cause, if it's, you know, building wells in Africa or, you know, building schools in Chicago, it's easy to find 10 or, 5, 10 or 12 folks to do that. But what you quickly learn as a nonprofit founder is, this is not going to be enough money <laughs> to serve all of these people. And, oh, my God, I'm going to need more than this. So this is really where I think that's the place where most people become overwhelmed and say that this is just too much because then they go, okay, I heard about this thing called grants. Right. Um, there must be this, like, pool of money out here that I can go and tell people that I'm doing this important work, and they'll give me a grant. Yeah. And that's where the, that's where the, the trouble stuff, my grandma would say. That's where the trouble starts. That's where the trouble starts. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's where the uh, disconnect happens between how sort of they think it works and then reality sets in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The grant, the reality about the grant world, two things. Um, number one, a person who has a great mission and a great idea, you have to be organized as a 501c3 or a tax-exempt charitable organization in order to attract grants. That's rule number one, and most people don't realize that.